She likes to travel and mingle with the people and living on dimes, cracking crazy pieces still there. I'm gonna say, eh. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. And she say, no big deal, let's do some more. Yeah. destination requires you to have a really strong neck. Yes, the entire city is built up. Where the skyscrapers kiss the clouds. Ancient architecture is tucked away between a jigsaw of flyovers and bridges. This capital is one of the fastest growing metropolitans in the world with 7.8 million people in the capital region. Where the first brick building was built because a big fire demolished the entire town. And a mosque that is built in the Moorish style of architecture. If you still haven't guessed then, this should help. One of the most multiracial countries in the world and home to the tallest twin towers. Their landmark, the Petronas Twin Towers. I'm in Kuala Lumpur, la. Kuala Lumpur is located on the western edge of Malaysian Peninsula and over the next three days and three nights, I will explore the capital, make my way to the historic town of Malacca and to the largest planned city of Malaysia, Putrajaya. Malaysia is one of the most multicultural and multiracial countries in the world. After the Malay people, the largest population is of the Chinese and the Indians. Kuala Lumpur was founded in 1857 at the banks of Klang and Gombak rivers and literally means muddy confluence. Today, of course, it's not the waterways that are used to get around the city. The cheapest mode of transportation is a public bus in KL in two ringgit you can get around town and like all public buses you'd expect them to be jam-packed but in KL nobody seems to use them the reason is obvious it's the crazy traffic jams on the roads of this city so like all locals I'll take the faster option Trains are the best way to get around in KL. From the first to the last stop, you'll be spending somewhere around 3 ringgit. If you get a car, mate, it's even cheaper and you can be all over the city within 10 ringgit. The best part, they're air-conditioned and the view is great. Also, a great place to meet locals and get some tips for your holiday. Most people think Malaysia is all about the horizontals and verticals of concrete. But it is in fact a maze of cultures that coexist. And since most travellers come to KL for shopping, I will too. But for a skill called Batik. My teacher was going to be Miss Ruby, who is an artist herself. Batik is a traditional art of manual wax resist dyeing technique. Too complicated? Not really if you watch what's happening. This is melted wax and it's coming out so quickly. So start colouring? Yes, please. I'm getting nervous. I'm in front of a professional artist, but not bad. I'm such a mess. Oh. Malaysia, Indonesia, even India. Batik is a technique practiced differently everywhere. The batik that I've done in India, the wax is thicker yeah. and then the wax cracks yeah, the crack and then we dip the entire thing. Yeah. We design, use a yes. chanting or brush yes. and then we direct colour, yeah. dry up like this. So yeah. this you've done today morning? Yeah, this is my design. Oh, yeah. it's beautiful. This is what we call a sprinkle technique. Sprinkle technique? Yeah, we Can we do brush. a little bit of that? Yes, why not? I, I will show you. This is a sprinkle technique. I've never done this before. <laughs> As the name suggests, it is sprinkling of colours on the fabric. Also known as chanting, since you rhythmically move your hands gently. Black to give it a base, a dash of colour, fill in the empty spaces and let the magic unfold. 
Batik is a Malay traditional art, but there is another culture that adds colour to this country. The Malaysian Chinese. They arrived in early and mid 20th century from China and today make for the second largest ethnic group here. I was in Bukit Bintang. This has been a Chinese settlement from the time KL was formed in its present state. So this is my simple, humble stay. Nothing much to write home about, but if you want to spend less than 100 ringgits a night, then this is the area where there are plenty of guest houses and all the conveniences are at walking distance. So this evening, I was going to a road parallel to where my guest house was that would take care of the rest of my day. The best way to spend your evening when you're in KL is on Jalan Alor. All you have to do is keep eating. And you can do that round the clock on this 24-hour street. The place to eat delicious food and meet quirky folks. Hello, nice to meet you from nice India. To yes. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Yes. You really like your pandas, don't of you? Of course, I love them very much. And you... they love me too. Yeah. Yes. Now tell me something, what is this that you're selling? This is a uh, soybean. That's soybean, soybean and this black? This is a uh, herbal jelly. Herbal jelly. Yes. So is it... Uh, are you selling this because it's black and white like the pandas? Yeah. Oh. In the... Yeah, in the way it's true. Yeah? The food didn't look too inviting, but this man's love for his pandas kept me a little longer Very on the cute. stall. Very cute. Loving, yeah. emotional. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather be a panda than a snake. But all this panda loving wasn't going to fill my tummy. Oh yeah. my god, this smells so good. This place has everything. There's all kinds of seafood, fish, pork, lamb, chicken, vegetables. You can have them boiled, you can have them deep fried, you can have them barbecued with sauces. I've got my stuff barbecuing right now, so can't wait. To understand the complexities of Malaysian culture, Thank there you. is one route worth trying. The one that goes through your stomach. Now make a deal, let's do some more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app. Fully optimized for retina display. Full screen view. Faster response time. And Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.